Hey guys, so I feel bad for not posting in so long. I'm sorry, but I'm back now. Um, I've been traveling, I've been doing other stuff, and so I'm back now, and I'm gonna try to get back on the normal schedule. Anyway, I was in Houston, Texas just uh, last week, and so I was doing cool stuff there. I'm on a robotics team, and so our robotics competition was there. So it was really cool, we got to see uh, NASA stuff when we were there. And more specifically, we got to go into NASA's uh, mock-up facility. So we were in the, uh, the mock-up facility, actually, I got to from the Space Vehicle Mock-up Facility, where they do training uh, and evaluation and mission support and stuff. And so it was really cool, I got to look around, I got to see they had the Soyuz capsule in there, um, one that had actually flown. They had a mock-up of the International Space Station, which uh, I actually we couldn't go inside of. We didn't, uh, I don't think we had time, and I don't know, it just wasn't open for us at that point in time. And we also got to see the Orion Space Module. That's what that's the one that's going to be going to Mars. And then we also saw um, saw a few other things that were really cool. So I kind of took video. I took video in there. They allowed me to. Um, it was. It's not technically a public tour. Uh, we somebody on my robotics team knew somebody else. And so we managed to get this tour of the place. And so I wanted to show you a little bit of what I saw. So I saw the Soyuz, um, which right now is the only way to get to and from the International Space Station. So it was really interesting to see um, what we're using right now to get to and from the International Space Station, how cramped it is and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll show you guys that. I'll show you some um, International Space Station stuff, like they had one of the big rotator joints and things. And so uh, I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so we're here in NASA's Building 9, and um, look at this is one of the joints that's on the space station. So like, uh, this is one of the big rotational joints, and then over there is a mock-up of the space station. And then here's a flight simulator for the uh, shuttle. And then over here, we think, what do you think that is, Austin? Uh, it's part of the Mars mission. So like, we think that's the lander for the Mars mission. We're not sure, they haven't given us the tour yet, fully. And then there's more cool stuff over there. Like, that's the big robotic arm over there. Okay, so welcome to the space shuttle. What you're going to see in here is an exact replica, minus the broken stuff, um, of what the orbiter looked like, the crew cabin of the orbiter. So this is the forward section. Back here would have been the payload bay. Now, this is a very special mock-up in that it can rotate vertically. And they did that so they could practice getting out of the space shuttle in the event of an emergency on the launch pad. The lower deck that we're going to go into is the is the mid deck. It's also a, a sub deck that has a lot of equipment in it that will be standing, and then we'll go up into the flight deck. Okay, so welcome to the mid-deck. If you were flying a space shuttle flight, you would be living here for your 14, 16 day flight. Uh, this is where the food was cooked. This is where people slept. In fact, here is a sleeping bag. I had one of our interns in here. She was trying it out to see how it fit. <laughs> Very comfortable, I was told. Uh, there are bunks over there. Remember, if you're in microgravity, the floor is not really the floor anymore. You're floating all around, so you can use all this space. You can hang off the ceiling if you wanted to. Uh, you could float around and go. Is that what these are for? Yeah, like, yeah. To, it's like dog food. Actually, those are for feet. Oh, okay, so you can stand and, oh. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, to keep your feet from moving. Uh, these are power cables, in case you're wondering, for small experiments. Uh, and everything is set up as it was right before the last shuttle flight. Now behind you are lockers, so everything was stowed in lockers. Uh, and you can open the lockers and get your brine filters. There. So that's what's inside a locker. Oh. And there'd be experiments in here other 
activities and fresh food and everything's labeled so that you can find it. Now back on this side, over there is the airlock. So if you wanted to go out and do an EVA, you'd probably want to put your spacesuit on first. <laughs> it's always important. Wait, so does that mean that everybody in here has to put a spacesuit on if no. they wanted to? No, that's why that's an airlock. So Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> there's a door on this side and then a door to space on the other side. Yeah. Uh, it's also the hatch that was used once docked to get to the space station. So they go through there, go up, and into the space station. Uh, at one time, that airlock was inside the crew cabin. Now, at the end of the shuttle missions, we moved it out into the cargo bay. So wow. it moved in. Uh, that cut down on the living space. So you can imagine being up here with your friends for 16 days. <laughs> Anybody you want to spend 16 days with in here? Anybody? <laughs> be my best friend or something. Seven. Find out if they are after 16 days. <laughs> yeah. And these are storage, storage uh, facilities. So bigger things like spacesuits could be stored in these. Uh, behind the lockers, behind here, you can see they only go a certain length, about length of my arm. Mm -hmm. Behind that is where the, equi the equipment bays were. So the computers, all the avionics, uh, all the sensor equipment like IMUs was up front in the nose. And some of it was behind here as well. Now, if you want, somebody wants to be intrepid and open that door, see if you can. This one? Uh huh. And oh, what's that? Porta potty. Well, that is <laughs> the space toilet. Space <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> and with privacy. Um, <laughs> there's the curtain. There? <clears throat> oh, really? There's the curtain. Oh, curtain. Oh, yeah. yeah. ready for a, a lighting test so they've installed all those LEDs in there recently and so they're gonna bring the crew in have them sit down in the seats and determine if there's proper lighting and all the services that they need to see wow look at the control kind of oh, oh my gosh oh it's cool in there So I don't really explain this one to you guys, but this is the Orion capsule that will be going to Mars. Um, they've been doing tests and stuff with it, but this is really cool. This isn't actually all actual capsule, like these aren't really thrusters, but the inside is all mock. So they were testing out the LED lights earlier today. Um, that's the reason it's so well lit in here. And he told me that the crew is going to be coming in later to actually like see how they like the lighting and stuff. Um, they have all sorts of padding and stuff, so this is actually really cool. Um, and then, like, they, it's really cold in here. I don't know why. They must be running, like, these AC vents over here and stuff. Um, but it's really cool because this is, like, they're actively working on this right now, which is cool. So this here is the Soyuz. Um, this is actually the only way to get to the space station right now. Uh, so here, look at how look how cramped this is. So the the feet go down there, and then your head goes over there, over there, over there. And then he told me that you actually can't reach the control panel um, from the center seat because it's too short or it's too far away. So you have to use a stick to poke it, which is crazy. So this one's actually been to space. He said. Um, and then this top part, which would docks, which, which docks with it, is like cargo and living area. And when these come back, uh, they burn up. So those don't actually return, but this obviously does. I mean, could you imagine? You have to sit in here for five hours and you can't move in these seats. Do you see that panel of levers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, those you, are not. Do you see those two like knobs uh -huh. with the arrow in, in between? Yeah, that looks hella old. Yeah, there's definitely not electronic. And like the, everything's written in Russian. 
is definitely that's awesome. And th this is what they still fly on too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is scary. It's like it's it's well, it's not scary. I mean, it, I guess it works because like they're no, doing no, it it's for robust, but like built simple and strong like a KV-1 Russian tank. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> it looks drunk. like it's all mechanical. That's like the scary part. Like, what is this like, big like shiny thing? I don't even know. But could you imagine being here for five hours while it while you're waiting for? God, I mean, you I say you get in this, you launch, which is ridiculous amounts of G's, and then you're in this for five hours until you can dock and go up into the upper area. So this is the actual part that's like the cargo area. So this is right above the part we were just looking at. And inside of here, you have like um, more living area. They put cargo in here. And then if you look down through here, you can see where we just were. Those are the actual, uh, those are the seats. So that's kind of crazy. This part doesn't return. This part burns up in orbit, they said. Um, but it's like cargo and stuff. Could you imagine? I mean, this whole stuff, this stuff they still fly on and it looks so like old. <laughs> so. It's kind of crazy to me. They said they're working, obviously like SpaceX and other companies are working on new ways to get to the shuttle right now though. Okay, so let me just pause there for a sec. When I say it's old, like, this is true. It's been around since like the 60s, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll put it right here. But it's been around for quite a long time, but it works. It's a good way to get to the space station. I didn't mean like to hit on the Soyuz or anything. Don't attack me, Russia. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it's been so long since I uploaded the video, but this is just sort of a little bit of a look uh, of the tour that I got from uh, NASA. I think it was pretty interesting. I really enjoyed this kind of stuff, so I was hoping that you guys might also. Um, if you want to learn more about this stuff, uh, like the Soyuz and the ISS and stuff, um, I might put a few links in the description. We'll see. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys uh, in the next video.